If you're looking for a sign that blockchain technology is going mainstream, you only have to do one thing, and that's follow the money. The amount of investment pouring into blockchain startups over the past few years has been significant, and it's only building. CD Insights has done some legwork and tracked the financing history of blockchain. In 2012, investment into blockchain was practically non-existent, but then activity started to pick up in a hurry. Over the next five years, a cumulative $2.3 billion found its way into the sector. Last year's estimated $831 million across 188 deals was the largest single year to date. It isn't just venture capital firms getting in on the action. Corporate giants are talking a big game when it comes to blockchain as well, and they're putting their money where their mouths are. Corporations pumped $327 million worth of investment into blockchain companies in the first nine months of last year. That put it on pace to be the largest year yet at about $400 million. 2015 and 2016 saw similar totals, suggesting a consistent interest for corporations in blockchain's potential. 360 Blockchain is among the big believers. It's made a series of investments in early stage blockchain startups and remains on the hunt for acquisitions. The company has identified a few key industries where it sees serious potential and is focusing its efforts there. Here is strategic advisor Jeff Coyan on what those sectors are and how 360 Blockchain is looking to pounce on the opportunity. So with 360 Blockchain, you look for talent, teams, and technology. So what's your criteria when you're looking at making an investment in a blockchain company? Well, the blockchain space is, uh, as you know, it's volatile and it's a little crazy and chaotic. And there's a lot of people throwing around big ideas. We like to stick to fundamentals. We want to invest in a traditional manner. We want to see teams that understand their space. We want category expertise. We want technology that's unique and solving problems. And ideally, some code that's already been shipped. In other words, technology that's actually in, in demo stage or close to release. Now, there are a lot of people who say blockchain is going to change the world, change every industry. But you're, you're not necessarily uh, believing that, saying it's not great for every industry mm -hmm. just yet. So you focus on certain areas, such as uh, loyalty programs, media, uh, human resources. Why, why those areas? Why are those attractive? Well, I, I absolutely believe blockchain will change the world, but I also agree with myself that it's not going to change every industry. Um, it will impact our lives in ways that the consumers might not even notice. In the same way that you may forget that your phone in your pocket is connected to the internet constantly. We've kind of forgotten that. Blockchain is going to do the same thing, and certain industries are ready for it now. Certain industries will come along later, but things like media, uh, media properties... Um, loyalty programs, which really are also already giant databases. But a loyalty program, for instance, will benefit from being put on the blockchain in that it could share the resources and reduce redundancies. And we think other industries like media um, can benefit in the same way now, today. Jeff, uh, let's talk about some of the companies that uh, 360 Blockchain has invested in, such as Arcology, SV Crypto Lab, Pressland, to your point about media. So give us a brief overview of those uh, three for now and, and why you're excited about them. Great. Pressland is the first one that we're closing right now. Uh, it's not our first uh, acquisition, but we're closing it uh, basically as we speak. It's, uh, it was launched in 2004 as Yelp for the Media. So it was, this is a great example of an existing service that will benefit and, and revolutionize uh, the industry by going blockchain. So it's a media database that's going to become a platform for media trust. Um, Arcology is a new blockchain itself. It's going to be generation 3.0 of a new blockchain platform. So we're hoping to go after the Ethereum and solve problems that um, platforms like Ethereum and Waves are running into. And SV Crypto Lab is a crypto mining operation, which is sort of an experiment in revenue streams. We're using the uh, revenue, and we, we're generating revenue right now, from the crypto mining to fund a hacker space. And do you think the better route to go for most companies, most crypto miners, is uh, using solar, using wind, other renewable energy? Well, yes, I, I do think there's a lot of exciting projects out there that are being paired with renewable energy sources. But I also am really excited, and we have something in the works that we're not announcing quite yet, is the idea of pairing different industries. So if you're generating excess heat, where can you put that heat? Rather than venting it out or you know, building in the side of uh, a mountain or next to a, a, you know, a, a solar power farm, use that heat to do something else. So that's where I think the real future is, is sort of cooperative use of these excess uh, heat. Let's take a step back and look at blockchain. You've used the analogy that blockchain uh, is an airplane. It's up in the air. It's legit. It's not going away. But it needs to evolve. There need to be a lot of adjustments made. So, so where do we stand right now with blockchain? 
It's been said before, and it's it's valid. Um, it's it's a cliche by now to say that blockchain is sort of the internet in the '90s, but it's absolutely true. It's up and it's running, and a lot of the a lot of the innovators are kind of running by the seat of their pants, and that's okay. This is the innovation stage. That's why we're also seeing the hype cycles come to blockchain, and they're going to come again. It's just like the internet in the '90s to the late '90s. Five years from now, again, it's going to be in your pocket in ways that you never imagined. So if I'm an investor and I've been looking at the blockchain sector, which was red hot several months ago, now it's kind of languishing, uh, what should I be thinking uh, uh, about trying to invest in, in, in this sector if, I, if I'm skeptical and a little bit nervous? Well, blockchain is scary um, and it's associated with cryptocurrencies and that's not going to go away. The separation of blockchain and cryptocurrency is essentially over. They are more connected than ever. And the markets are so volatile and, and they could really scare people that want to step in. And that's, that's understandable, but that's why we're here. We're investing in a number of different projects. We're diversified. Some of our revenue is coming from cryptocurrency, but most of it is not. We're gonna get traditional revenue sources through blockchain companies.